Hey y'all, I'm sitting at my desk. I'm watching American Horror Story Coven and I'm making a garland. So this is different to the other one. Um, in my last vlog, I spoke about how I made orange slices. Um, these are the slices over here and I have learned something. Normally I don't dry them this much and I didn't know this was a thing, but I've dried them too much to make garlands out of them. They're kind of been a real pain in the butt. So um, these are kind of no good. So I was like, all right, what am I going to do here? So um, I was thinking I might just get some more oranges and wait till another day. And I was like, no, I really want to make this garland. So I've switched up what I was going to use. Um, and this is the making of it here now. So this is the rest of what is going onto the garland. I've got um, rosebuds here and all kinds of things there. Um, I've had some noodles just now. I'm having a little cheeky glass of wine. It is a Sunday and I'm just chilling. Um, and I've got bits and pieces. So um, yes, I put a, I drill a little hole through everything and then I just slip it onto this garland um, using a little needle and thread. But I just kind of wanted to show you because I meant to last time. Um, I'm just having the most wonderful afternoon, um, just enjoying some witches and chilling here making some craft, um, weaving magic, and I'm loving it. I'll just show you a quick peek of my bookshelf. I finally got that other shelf up and I'm just absolutely loving the way that it looks. So I'm going to do a little tour for you guys at some point soon. Um, but for now, I'm going to go back to my show and uh, weaving some magic. Look at this cuteness. Decoddling. Oh. August keeps getting distracted by, or tempted I should say, by Bear's tail. August! Bear's going home today. So this is the last day they get to cuddle and play together. He'll be back later in the week for a visit though. So that will be nice. <gasps> Little babies! Oh, he's the sweetest boy. I think he's a little bit sick of getting bitten on the ankles all day. <laughs> August just follows him around and bites him. She's very gentle though. She pulls her punches when she's um, like playing with our hands or playing with Bear or whatever. Thank goodness. Is it just me or are my sunglasses unhappy? I'm just setting up to do a video and I came back in after a little while. Someone's decided she liked the camera stand. <laughs> She's been running around all morning and now it's time for sleeping. Is she going to sleep right here? Is it? Hey? Oh, so sleepies. So sleepies. Maybe she'll be in the video. We'll see. <laughs> Hello. I have just redone my hair. Thank you. Yes, I know. Um, and I have just finished filming two videos, um, kind of. So I finished filming one really long video and I have um, done like the intro and outro of another video and I'm actually going to share a uh, formula making portion with you all. So I haven't filmed that yet, but that'll be coming. It's going to be uploaded at uh, the next dark moon. So that's going to be really fun. But yes, I just wanted to jump on here and say hello and say that I have been filming and making YouTube videos for you all. Yes, finally. And um, I have also, even though it's a low spend year for me, I have decided to invest in a selfie stick. It has been such a long time since selfies have been a thing and finally I'm getting with it and actually getting myself a stick. Although I have to say a few years ago I did buy myself one, but it just turned out to be too cheap. You know what I mean? It did not, it was not, it wasn't good for me, no. But I've ordered one and I'm looking forward to it getting here because I noticed in my last vlog when I spoke to you like this, it was like all up in my grill, <laughs> the camera. So it'll be nice to actually, like literally my arm is extended the whole way right now and it's still, it's still pretty close, right? Anyway, I love you guys. Update. <laughs> oh, teddy bear. You're allowed to tell her to get off, you know. He goes, he did a little bit. He's like, play with my hand instead, please. I try no sleep. <laughs> oh, it's 
so cute. <laughs> so cute. What are you doing to bear? What are you doing to bear? <laughs> oh, he loves it, but he doesn't at the same time. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. Every day, so much distraction. I was supposed to be working, but how can one work when all of this gorgeousness is happening? <laughs> she got you. She got you, titties. She got you. It is a Wednesday, but I'm actually, I decided to take the day off today from my regular job. Um, it is Australia day here. And so my husband's got the day off and usually when he's not working, I'm like, mm, you know, but I just, oh, I've been really quite tired lately. Um, I've just, it's been a really, really stressful month. Um, the way I would describe it is chaos. Like it's just been so chaotic. There's been so much going on here and I've been doing my best to not resist. Like I have noticed that when I resist what is happening, that is when it feels really hard or it feels at least a lot worse. But when I just kind of, um, as Crimson Fire says, flow with the go, <laughs> things do feel easier, but it's been a lot. There's been a lot going on and, and you guys know some of it from the last vlog with the cats and stuff, um, but like our fridge broke and we're still trying to get a replacement. Um, it's been a whole thing where it kind of like it broke and then it kind of worked again and not and it and it's just it's a whole thing um you know and just a bunch of other stuff that I'm not going to get into so it's been a hell of a month oh actually something I will tell you I I know it doesn't even look it's like whatever like you've got a band-aid on your thumb I attempted to chop off my thumb the other night it was one of the most it is the deepest cut I've ever given myself, but I literally like, I'm trying to like, show, okay. I cut through my nail into my finger. I'm um, just like this. So the, the corner of my nail is going to come off at some point. There was blood everywhere. Oh my goodness. And I'm jumping around the kitchen going, Sean, oh my God, help me, Sean, fuck, fuck, fuck. You know, it was so bad. And all the animals are like coming around like, oh my goodness, are you okay? Oh, my arm's getting so sore. Selfie stick. Um, yeah, and I was really worried. It was like 10.30 at night, and I'm like, am I going to have to have to go to the hospital? Like, I didn't know how bad it was, but there was, like I said, blood pissing everywhere, and I'm just, like, holding it together, you know? Um, so eventually it stopped bleeding, and um, and we're like, okay, this is a good sign. So then we put some new, like, because we, we band-aided it up, <laughs> and then I was just, like, holding it. We had, like, an ice pack on it and shit, trying to just calm the blood down. Um, and then I... Um, was able to give it a fresh wrapping. Um, but you guys, I will say it's healing really, really well. It still hurts like a bitch, like when I like put pressure on it or whatever in that spot. Manuka honey, my friends. Manuka honey is just incredible. So we always have a jar of Manuka honey in the house at all times. It's really good if you're sick. Um, so whenever we've got a cold, chesty, whatever sort of thing going on, we always have teaspoons of Manuka honey. Um, and it's very eucalyptus-y Manuka honey. So it's not, um, I don't know, it doesn't taste like regular honey, I guess. So we always, you know, I'll put that in elderberry tea sometimes, things like that. Um, a few weeks ago, my son was sick and I was like, oh, I really don't want to come down with anything. I've just got too much work to do right now to be sick. So I had a bunch of elderberry tea and manuka honey and I didn't catch it. So that was really good. Um, yeah, but it's also really good for cuts and abrasions and things like that. So um, it's healing up so well. I, I really thought I would have to get stitches, but totally it's cool. So I just, you know, fresh back. Twice a day I've been putting fresh band-aids on, although now it's healed enough that I can just do one. But with Manuka honey, you guys, I'm telling you, Manuka honey is expensive. Um, the little jars that I get are about $20 each, um, and they're not even, like, premium quality. But it's worth having it around, and it's literally a medicine. So it lasts us. 
I mean, it depends how sick we've been throughout the year and how many fingers we've been trying to chop off, but it lasts at least a year, I would say, in our house. Like $20 for a whole year, not having to go get stitches, pretty fucking good. If you do something real bad and like chop off a limb, I wouldn't recommend, you know what I mean? Like see your doctor, all the, all the, uh, what's the word? Um... I really can't think of the word. It's so annoying. I'm going to get off here and be like, oh, that was the word. You know, the thing where they're like, oh, by the way, all this might happen. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say? I'm not a doctor. <laughs> don't use Manuka honey if you give yourself a bad injury. But if you really don't want to go to the doctor, it's worth a shot. Okay. Just saying. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to go. <laughs> oh my God. Disclaimer. That's the fucking word. I could not. I could not. My husband just got home and I'm like, what's the word for the thing? I was trying to Google it. And you know when you're like trying to get Google to understand what it is you're looking for? And they're like, bitch, I don't know what you're trying to say. Disclaimer. <sighs> do you ever do that? I have this thing with words like where they'll always come to me eventually. I've got this sort of trick where I just go, okay, brain, I need to know that thing. And it will bring it to me eventually. But because I was putting pressure on myself, I'm like, I just want to remember it now. Literally five minutes. I'm like, cannot remember. Disclaimer, like, oh, anyway. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> Here she is, you guys, having a bath currently. Hey, hey, just do something cute for the camera. Yeah. You guys keep asking about Roxy. So her name is Roxy now. It's like a whole thing. It was Ravina, but the boys just fought me on it. <laughs> they did not like it. They're like, she's Roxy. So I was like, all right, fine. Roxy's cute. And so that's her name now. Her name is Roxy. It's official. Um, she's doing really well, as you guys can see. So she's all better now, which is amazing. Um, and we're just trying to get her used to um, our other cat, Vegeta. So her and August down there, um, they, they're doing well together. Um, they d didn't remember each other at all. Like it was a whole thing. It took several weeks for them to get used to each other. <laughs> Oh my god. Um, and now the other cat and her uh, do not like each other. So um, that is taking some time. So Vegeta is outside at the moment. He's gone for a little adventure. And um, Roxy has the, uh, the, the rest of the house or whatever. I don't know how to say that in a cool way. I was trying to think of like some saying. But anyway, the lay of the house. I don't know. So she's doing really well. There she is. Happy, healthy, beautiful girl. She's a beautiful, and there's the baby. She's getting so big now, you guys. The other cats keep telling her off too. She's like staring at Roxy's tail. She's like, I want to eat that tail so bad. <laughs> um, they keep telling her off because she's like annoying. Isn't she? She just always wants to play with you and you say, stop it. Stop it immediately. Anyway. It's the morning. I just posted a video um, last night, so I'm answering comments now. That is what I'm up to. Um, it's already like almost 10.30 um, and I haven't started work yet. <laughs> this is my life sometimes. Um, oh, these are my books I'm reading. This is, let's do this. So um, you've seen some of these. These are still, they're still sitting there. I'm working through this one. I've recommitted to this book. Um, I've been reading it for a while, but I'm doing it every single day now. Um, so this is on writing. So I said this to you guys in another, uh, when I was showing my room tour, it's brilliant. If you're a writer or you want to write or you want to write better or whatever, it's really good. And each chapter is like a couple of pages. So it's really, really digestible lessons. It's just brilliant. Um, so every day I'm reading that, um, I'm going to read the E-Myth revisited soon. This is all about small business. Um, I feel like I need to educate myself on that. I'm part of a small business. It's not my business, but I want it to succeed. So my husband keeps saying to me, he's been saying to me for years, have you read the E-Myth yet? Have you read the E-Myth yet? And the other day I was like, fine, I'm getting the E-Myth. <laughs> so it's there. It'll be being read soon. I think once I finish this one. Currently for my book club that I'm a part of, it's not my book club. It is um, the Sunshine States, which Witches Book Club. We're reading Empty Cauldrons. Um, I am not going to lie, you guys. I'm really struggling with this book. Um, so this is all about depression. And I've only gone through the first couple of chapters. Um, but 
I, I used to suffer with depression um, for about 13 years and it was, it was, you know, it was fucking horrible. Um, and I can just feel the spirit of depression on this book. Like, you know, and right now he's talking about like, what is depression? And like, ooh, yeah, it's just like, I can feel it. It's really, um, I'm really struggling to like, like, mm, I don't want to say be in that energy again because I'm not in that energy, but like I can just feel it. I don't know. Um, it's quite triggering, I suppose. Um, yeah. Anyway, so I'm I'm reading it. I decided to actually read it um, in the hope that I would get some good stuff to be able to share with people because I work with a lot of people who suffer with depression. Um, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. Right now, it's. Um, not my favorite, <laughs> but I'm sure there'll be some really good stuff in there. Um, so that is what is happening at the moment. All right, I gotta go do my comments and stuff, is what's happening, and then I really need to get to work. So I've been feeling really tired and bleh this morning, um, and I was just kind of like, I was, ca I caught myself and I was about to say, oh, everything's shit today. And I was like, wait, no this is what it is and then I had to come and listen to the song and I'm changing my attitude and this is what it is. Everything is awesome. Yeah! more popular. <laughs> What's in there? What's in there? <laughs> Hello. We're watching Keldon and, I don't know, trying to grab things in the drawer. <gasps> don't rip the carpet. No, no, no. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Popping in for another moment of vlogging. I haven't vlogged for a few days, so I actually have the Rona right now. Um, we came down with it last week. We've had it really mildly, though, my husband and I. Um, so we've been totally fine, but I've just been really tired. That's been my main symptom, so... I've got my energy's like been crazy, um, just like plummeting in the middle of the day and stuff like that. Um, today I feel a lot better though. I've had much more even kind of burn, which is really nice. Um, I actually was on a live chat with Noah Tempestari, Ravenflower and Blue Knight. Um, it was so much fun and Pandora Lacora was there as well. So it was like, it was just awesome. It's a big um, 12 hour chat that um, they did on Noah Tempestari's channel. So if you guys haven't seen that, pop in a bunch of amazing witches um, on there. So um, did that today. I'm just in the middle of work now and um, I've got like all these tabs open on my screen. I'm just looking at, but once I go through each tab, and then do one other task, I can be done for the day. <sighs> Can't wait. So I am, oh gosh, it's already five o'clock. I was gonna say I'm finishing early today. Not, not so much actually, <laughs> a little late today. Um, yeah, but I just want to pop in and say hello. I got you guys a new lamp. Look at this, look at this lighting. Like, hello, I like what I see. I'm very impressed. Um, I actually took it from the lounge room and I'm, like buying other one, another one to replace and use this and let me show you let me show you look at this I love it so much oh and I've got this new sign finally up there I did show you guys I don't know in some other video that I had that so my husband finally popped that up for me and I've got this light here and it's amazing I just love I needed something a little extra um, for my desk so that I could actually like see what's going on you know um, I have hummus. <laughs> so anyway, I just um, needed a little bit of extra light. So I've got my salt lamp there, but it wasn't quite cutting it in the evenings. What I found I had to keep doing was getting up like a white screen like this to use as lighting for myself, but the ambience just wasn't there. So now I can have my screen off and have a beautiful light. So that's what I'm doing. And I wanted to quickly show you this too. This just arrived today. This was a really naughty purchase. I'm on a depth year. I'm not really supposed to be buying anything, but it was $5 and I was sick and I wanted it. <laughs> so I did. Um, I read playing cards as well, you guys. So I found this Harry Potter deck. I hate the back. They didn't show the back in the pictures. Look at that, horrible. Some of the other decks they have were really lovely, but I really liked the cards. Ugh. 
the other side. So every single card has um, a different character on it. And I love that they're different characters. So it's not like you're seeing Harry like 12 times throughout the deck and there are characters missing, you know. Um, and what comes to mind when I'm thinking of that is the Game of Thrones tarot deck. Oh, really shits me off. It's a good deck, but there are the same character over and over again and so many characters missing from the deck so it just doesn't it doesn't feel right at all I'm not not a fan I really really want a Harry Potter tarot deck though um, there are actually quite a few playing card decks out there um, of Harry Potter that is um, look it's Fred and George oh hang on which is which um, yeah, so there are actually, um, it's one of the ace. I'm not a big fan of the aces either, but I like all the other cards in here. So, um, yeah, they have quite a few decks out there, but I quite liked this one. Um, and I didn't just get it because it was the cheapest. I sort of liked the, the peeps on there. So anyway, I have this, I haven't used it yet. Obviously it's all still in order and now it's everywhere. So I'm going to have to deal with that. But, um, yeah, I really like playing card reading as well. Are you guys into playing card reading? Let me know. Let me know. All right, peeps. I'm out. Oh my God, you guys. Okay, so it's the same day, but my selfie stick just arrived and I've just played with it and figured out how to use it. Wasn't that difficult, but it did take me a minute. I'm so excited. Look how far away from me you are. You, you am? You are. Look at this. <gasps> I just feel like my entire world has opened up. <laughs> it's taken me so long to get on this train, but I'm loving this. I feel like the possibilities you know I'm just so freaking excited and I can do it all with the touch of a button where my thumb is now and not doing these things I'm so happy and so excited I have finally stepped in to the 21st century yay good morning YouTube it has been a hot minute look at this I am editing right now oh my god it's very exciting <laughs> finally editing finally gonna put up a photo I just wanted to show you little Miss August, who is trying to see out the window. She's gotten so big now. She's kind of stopped growing the last few weeks. So she just, look how long and skinny she is. She's like a noodle. Noodle cat. What's out there? What's out there? <laughs> um, we're at the desk today. It is Saturday morning. I might use this as my final clip, I think, um, but I'm just editing now. I'm going to put some clips together. This is going to be a vlog, as you will already know. What is this cat doing? Look at her. She's like, yeah, there's a cat up the curtains. <laughs> there's a cat on the curtain. Let go, please. Thank you. Please and thank you. She keeps coming here, right? Look how cute she is. Oh my goodness. And she eats my feathers. She grabs my feathers and she plays my crystal. And I say, no. No, sir, no. Please, no. Anyway, she's super cute. I had them both up here before. <laughs> so I had um, Roxy and her up here. Stop eating. Stop eating my things. Stop it. Stop it. Anyway, we love you. I'm going to end this vlog now. Um, and I will see you in a video very shortly. I've got all the plans. I'll talk to you about what the hell's been going on. And um, cat butt to brighten your day, I suppose. Well, that's nice, isn't it? <laughs> Bye.